moving on here. Who's next? Who we got next? Oh, we got Trump. <laughs> yes, it was old Trump thing. We will launch a new age. So I was uh, scouring the Twitters and I ran across this piece here by it's a video by the uh, the secure dot act blue dot com. And so I, I want to do a little compare and contrast. This is obviously Democrat propaganda. Yeah, act act blue is the isn't that a super pack? A super or pack. something? Yeah, I or think so. Uh, yes, some sort of called super pack. Fun, yeah. Some sort of mechanism. Yes, fundraising it's a fundraising mechanism. mechanism, political fundraising mechanism, and they put together this piece here, this video, which I will play for you, and I'll uh, describe what's happening when there's not dialogue. Mm-hmm. Saudi Arabia cannot be trusted, and then images of the tower, the two towers being hit, nine eleven. You know mm-hmm. that thing that happened. You know, just the trauma again. Saudi Arabia recall. provided Al Qaeda with support, financing, and resources that were critical to the success of the September 11th attacks. The Saudi government using school books that teach Arab children to hate Jews and to hate Christians. Intelligence agencies have confirmed Saudi Arabia's crown prince personally ordered the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. There's Trump. So what's mm. going wrong? The Trump administration informed Congress that the president will invoke emergency authority regarding arms sales to Saudi Arabia. Both sides of the aisle are criticizing the Trump administration's latest arms deal with Saudi Arabia, accusing the administration of bypassing Congress. The biggest concern of Saudi Arabia's human rights record, their involvement in the conflict in Yemen. The Saudi-led coalition has been accused of indiscriminate civilian casualties, the worst humanitarian crisis in the world right now. Children are literally starving in the street. Wow. Yeah, music. How exactly Tucker does the Carlson. country and its government get to ignore this? And what is the nature of America's relationship with Saudi Arabia? Donald Trump has more involvement and is more enmeshed with the Saudis than any president in American history. I like the Saudis. They're mm-hmm. very nice. I make a lot of money with them. They buy all sorts of my stuff. All what? kinds of toys. <laughs> Do you hear the Trump coming in? Yeah, it's hilarious. I didn't mean to step on it. Okay. Th- th- that's the craziest thing anybody has ever. Th- the Bush family literally <laughs> created Saudi Arabia. I know, I know. It's great. What do you mean Trump is the most involved in the history well, of America? Listen to all the evidence. That's so stupid. Like the Saudis. They're very nice. I make a lot of money with them. They buy all sorts of my stuff. All kinds of toys from Trump. They pay me millions <laughs> and hundreds of millions. Saudi Arabia, and I get along great with all of them. They buy apartments from me, they spend 40 million, 50 million. We've become very good friends. We are with Saudi Arabia. We're staying with Saudi Arabia. 9 11 attacks. And by the way, just so everybody, I have no business whatsoever with Saudi Arabia. Couldn't care less. Hmm. End the nightmare. <laughs> End the nightmare. End the nightmare. So this was a piece of propaganda to fight back <laughs> against the fact that Biden is right now visiting Saudi Arabia and like <laughs> making deals with uh, Mr. Bones. Well, didn't you there? see the information that, that was given to us? Saudi Arabia responsible for 9-11. Trump makes deal with, ni- with Saudi Arabia. Therefore, Trump just as bad as 9-11. Oh, Trump is 9-11. Trump is 9-11. Don't you get it? I thought it? January 6th was 9-11. Well, well I well, guess there's lots of 9 11 well, well, we're just bombarded with 9-11. So we're... we're... Uh, it's a very powerful trigger that yes. has been installed in, uh, in Hold our... Hold on, Cody. Cody's being mean to the door. Yeah. Um, installed in our software here. You yep, yep. Uh, so I want to compare that trailer to the kind of uh, propaganda that I'm getting. And, okay. uh, of course... I'm receiving more emails from the Trump regime here. And this oh, one. No, uh, no. Correction. Mm-hmm. Derwin is ah, receiving. I'm sorry. More I'm sorry. Derwin. Yes. Derwin. <laughs> Derwin is receiving these emails that I've uh, been privy to. A source close to me got these mm-hmm. resources. A source familiar with uh, the matter. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this email is titled. There was an epic shirt seen at President Trump's rally. Derwin. Did you Derwin. see what happened at my rally in Alaska? I, I think Trump is directly is this talking Trump? to me. I think he's directly talking to me. Trump is emailing <laughs> you directly. That is I awesome. called some front row patriots onto my rally stage because of the incredible Trump rally shirts they were wearing. After mm. I saw this amazing shirt, I knew I had to have them ready to go for patriots like you. I called my team and they were quick. These shirts are a masterpiece and a true symbol of my Save America movement. 
I only want my most devoted patriots to have one, which is why I set one aside for you, oh. Darwin. I can't believe that he had the time to write you this email, much less set aside a shirt just for you. Now, Basil, when you think of a Trump rally shirt, what what do you picture? What what is? I want everybody listening right now to just imagine what a Trump rally shirt that he was so impressed with that oh, he yeah. would uh, pr- go this st- is, take it straight to the, is, the printer. What's up, buddy? Yeah, this is the moment. So you were you were telling me about this before the show, and I didn't want to see it. Yes. Uh, so I can actually do a real guess. And my guess is kind of the same. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm just going to assume it says Trump on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe, I mean, now I want to get a little crazier, but I was just assuming it just says big old Trump uh with you know some stars maybe it's red and got some blue and white on there uh trump mm, and a a catchphrase maybe like uh uh ra- rally it up rally it up baby <laughs> rally it up okay yeah. well um for $45 or more before midnight tonight i'll send you this exclusive trump rally shirt and uh, let me show you, Basil. It is a, a T-shirt. It's got multiple Trump. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> yeah, I could not have guessed this. This is hilarious. Uh, for those who are just listening, it is oh man, like an insane montage collage, rather an insane collage of. I think Trump's favorite pictures of himself. Yeah, there's a MAGA hat thumbs up. There's uh, some shaking hands, double thumbs up. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's looking good in all of them. His hair is perfect. <laughs> one of them is, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's like seventeen different Trumps collaged together. And they all kind of have a glow about them. They're glowing. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some outer glow added. That is in incredible. The Photoshop. Dude, you have got uh, to get this shirt. I, I can't. I, I, it's inflation, man. I don't have the 45 right now. It's Trumpflation. <laughs> Trumpflation. And yeah, I need the deflation, the Trump deflation. You know, see, this is the thing, man. The Democrats, they take themselves way too seriously. <laughs> Like, this is what I'm talking about. The left can't meme, bro. (laughs) You have Trump just has a shirt with 20 versions of himself glowing on a uh, just just in sort of a a, a cosmic starry sky of Trump's Uh, tie dye Trump right here. Tie dye. It's like Trump Trump tie dye. It's beautiful. And he's going to make a gazillion dollars on it. People are going to love it. It's funny. See, this is the problem, too. Democrats will look at this and they'll be like, oh, uh, yeah. he's so narcissistic. He made a shirt of himself. And it's a bit, 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 bit. No, Trump thinks this is hilarious for sure, because it is <laughs> for real. You're not going to nobody's going to make a Biden shirt like this. Well, they should. If somebody wants to make money. They should. I want to. Yeah. You get them on a bike. You get them off the bike. You got one uh, listening to the Star Spangled Banner in Palestine. <laughs> you get them, um, you know, coughing. Uh, get them reading off a teleprompter, squinting. I think we're on to something, Gons. Yeah. 